Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In the previous session, we have discussed what is context-free grammar and how to construct context-free grammar for palindrome example. Now in this session, we will discuss two more examples of construction of context-free grammar. The first one is construct a context-free grammar for set of strings with equal number of A's and B's. That is, the set of strings contains the number of A's and B's are equal. Here there is no order of A and B. That is, A followed by B, B followed by A, there is no order. Finally, it contains the equal number of A's and B's. Suppose the possible set of strings A, B, A, 1, A, 1, B. Suppose B, A, A, B, B, A, 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 B, B. Suppose B, A, A, B. B, B, A, 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 B. So, any combination. It contains any combination. Suppose B, A, A, B. Suppose it is already completed. P, B, A. Write down any combination of characters. So, starts with S. Yes. yes. If the string starts with either A or B. We have two cases. Starts with either A or B. Suppose first my assumption is if starts with A between A and B between A and B I have any combination suppose A, S, B, S observe this point how we are ready A and B if my string starts with A and ends with suppose in this case ends with B in this case ends with A suppose this case A this case B between A and B, I am writing any combination of A's and B's. And lastly also I am writing any combinations of A's and B's. If it starts with B, similarly between B and A, I am writing any combination. I am writing any combination. Now S is replaced with, now S is replaced with, for example, if S is replaced with A, S is replaced with A. Consider this one A, A, B, A. So condition fails. So always S is replaced with epsilon. This is the grammar. This is very simple approach. Here the approach is first to derive the strings. In the strings we have every case two chances. Either starts with A or starts with B. Here order is not important. Order is not important means between A and B. If it starts with A, so this first one is fixed. If it starts with B, this first one is fixed. Write down the remaining combination. Remaining combination is it contains B because we already 1A. That means compulsory we have to write 1B. Before B and after B, any combination. Similarly, I am writing 1B. Compulsory you have to write 1A. And before A and after A, we have to write any combination. And S yes value you have to terminate. That is the string you have to terminate at some position. So S yes value becomes epsilon. Observe. Suppose S tends to A, S, B, S. In this S, I am replacing suppose this string A, B, S, A, S. And I am writing S is B, S. Suppose S is replaced with epsilon. A, B, epsilon. That is simply A, epsilon, B. See this one, 2s, 2b. So, I am deriving the string. A, b, a, b. Suppose if it is not there, it contains equal number of s and equal number of b's. Now, the second question is, generate the set of strings. That is here, what is the grammar? G is equal to v, t, p, s. V means s, the only non-terminal. T means we are using a, b, epsilon. For example, these are the productions. Start symbol is, here the only variable is start symbol. This is the grammar representation. Now the second question is, construct the context-free grammars for set of strings with equal number of A's and B's. And the condition is, it is of the form A power N, B power N. That is the number of A's and number of B's are equal. And the A's are followed by B. Here there is no order, but in this case, the number of A's are followed by 
the number of bees. Suppose the set of strings are A B, A A B B, A A A B B B. So these are the cases. Observe. Simply S starts with either A. If S starts with the only possible case is compulsory starts with A. Compulsory starts with A because A is followed by B. So this is the case. And the last one is B. Between A and B, between A and B, we have any combination. Between A and B, we have any combination. Suppose I am writing a non-terminal A, and what is the value of A? The value of A is again this one. The value of A is suppose I am writing one more time A A B. Now A is replaced with this one. What the string A A B? I am replacing this A with this one A. A B B. If A is equal to epsilon, if A is equal to epsilon, that means A A B B. Equal number of A's followed by equal number of B's. Here there is no need to write one more not equal by simply placing S also. We are getting the answer. Suppose to write any number of non-terminals, I am writing in this fashion. So the finally the grammar is G is equal to non-terminals S comma A and the terminals A, B, epsilon. The production rules. The start symbol is S. S is the starting symbol. These are the two grammars without any constraints on the order of A and B. Here the A is followed by. This is the problem. Thank you.